Hey! In this video, I'll show you how landing pages work. If you want to have a page in your shop that is directly accessible but should not be visible in the shop navigation, then you can do this using landing pages, which is basically a normal category page that can only be accessed via a special URL. This can be useful for promotional pages or special pages that should only be accessible via a link from the newsletter, for example. The landing pages, like the other normal categories, can be found under catalogues and then categories. Here we can now see the category tree at the top, which contains all our categories that can also be seen in the navigation in the storefront later on. And at the bottom, we have the landing pages area, which we can yeah, open and yeah, because we don't have a landing page yet, we can now add one by clicking on add landing page. So we start by giving the landing page a name in the general section. Um, a landing page like this can be for promotions, for example. So let's just call our landing page summer sale. Um, this could, yeah, for example, be a summer promotion that should not be accessible directly from the shop or the storefront, but only via a QR code on a product, a link in a newsletter or similar. Um, of course, we then activate it and select the sales channel for which the landing page is designed. Optionally, you can also add tags but we don't necessarily need them in our example. Now, if we scroll down a bit, we come to the SEO information. This is, of course, the important information for search engines. So here we can enter the meta title, meta description, SEO keywords for the search engines and our SEO URL. Note, these are not mandatory fields, um, but it would, of course, be better for search engine optimization to fill them in. And last but not least, we have the SEO URL at the bottom, and this is mandatory. This is the URL under which the landing page should be accessible, so this is very important. And the important thing here is that you don't have to enter the entire URL, but only the part that comes after the shop URL. This means, for example, if my shop is now called demoshop.com and I want the page to be displayed with demoshop.com slash summer sale, I only enter summer sale, just like this. Yeah, and then we click on save and go to the tab layout. In the layout tab, as we already know from the normal categories, we basically select a layout from the layouts of the shopping experience, or we can create a new layout. So let's simply take the layout for the storefront or our homepage layout and click on save. Of course, we can also create a completely separate layout for the landing page in the shopping experience module and design it ourselves. Um, or we can use one that already exists. We can also customize um, the layout for this landing page and change details such as the image or the display mode, the yeah, link type or the link to. Uh, so we don't have to change the entire template or the entire layout, but only individually for this landing page summer sale. And now, after we click on save, this landing page would be accessible under the URL uh, demoshop.com slash summer sale. 